Hello everyone. Uh, so as per unit 3 syllabus is concerned, so we'll be starting off with unit 3 topics. Um, as I've already explained to you uh, what and all topics we are going to cover in unit 3. So mainly we are going to cover the concept of grammar, context-free grammar. So what are the derivation process and what is its simplification. Okay. So basically we will cover two to three video lectures uh, over this particular grammar basic uh, understanding of this particular unit and then we will also get together for a uh, few uh, numericals so basically what we are going to do is that uh, before starting off with the grammar topic let's check it out what this regular language says this regular language is i uh, have divided into three parts one is your acceptor generator and representator now, as the term acceptor says, it accepts something. Uh, in terms of regular language, uh, there are a certi uh, certified definition of a language which comprises of certain strings. Now, acceptor is nothing but accepting a particular set of strings uh, based on certain machines like uh, DFA, NFA, Epsilon NFA, etc. So, this, these are the machines which generally accepts a particular set of strings there is the second part which is known as the generator generator what it does it generates a particular set of strings or it derives a particular set of strings based on certain rules so that is nothing but your grammar because grammar in english also you know in grammar is nothing but a set of rules so this grammar as it is the uh, as the language is a regular language so the grammar will also be a regular grammar now the third part is a representator. This representator is nothing but uh, the representing particular language into the form of an operands and operators. Now these operators are nothing but uh, the basic operators that generally uses plus dot asterisk. Plus is nothing but union asterisk uh, clean closure and dot is uh, concatenation. So these are the basic operators and based on which they provides a particular expression which is known as the regular expression which is covered in unit number two so this regular expression is nothing but the representator of a regular language so understood the concept between these three top terms because these three terms are very much useful to understand what regular language actually wants to say now we will be focusing in this unit is the generator what is nothing that what, what is the generator is nothing but the set of rules which is defined by the term grammar and here as the language is a regular language so the grammar will also be a regular grammar clear so here the regular grammar is represented by capital letter G now the question arises is that what we are going to study now we are going to study context free grammar but before that we will let you know what regular grammar is all about as because if you understood the concept of regular grammar then context free grammar is same only a small difference lies in the production rule in the rule now in the left hand side as you can check it out there is a topic named as Chomsky hierarchy now this Chomsky hierarchy is nothing but uh, a, a, a levels of uh, these particular grammars a levels of these particular languages a levels of these particular acceptors where it starts from DFA and it ends in Turing machine. How this generation comes up, this explains by the Chomsky hierarchy. Actually, the topic comes uh, initially, but we will be learning a little bit later on after understanding the concept of regular grammar. Clear? Now, let's move forward. First, we will understand what regular grammar actually says. Regular grammar uh, is generally represented by capital letter G. And it comprises of four tuples V, T, S, and P. What does these terms uh, say uh, according to the formal description of regular grammar? V says a set of variables or set of non-terminal symbols. Then uh, T says a set of terminal symbols. S says start symbol and P says production rule. So these are actually the terminologies but I will let you know uh, the meaning of these with an example okay now uh, the last one that I've told you is the production rule this production rule is of the form alpha tends to beta now 
this is the main basic rule with the help of which you are going to derive a particular set of string so keep in mind that whatever you are having uh, in a grammar and which is of the form alpha tends to beta is the production rule so you have to identify which is of the form alpha tends to beta now here a condition lies this you should always remember this alpha and beta are nothing but certain strings on v union t that means whatever non-terminal symbols are there and whatever terminal symbols are there combination of both defines alpha and beta clear and one more important point you should remember is that whatever production rule that should be always if the form alpha tends to beta and in the left hand side that is alpha it is nothing but at least one symbol of alpha must belongs to capital letter v means set of non-terminal symbols now this is what the formal description says but let me take an example and i will let you know how to work on it okay and how to identify what are set of non-terminal symbols what are terminal symbols what is the st which is the start symbol how to identify the production rule already i have mentioned by identifying a format which is alpha tends to beta so let me take an example and i will explain to you how to identify this.